A few years ago, I noticed something weird about filmmaking. After directing hundreds of documentaries and ads, I noticed that if the music I chose didn't fit, everything was ruined. It didn't matter who the talent was, how much time we spent on production design and lighting. The music had to be just right. I started to seriously wonder, why is music so powerful? Why are compressed airwaves at certain frequencies able to influence us so intensely? It just didn't seem very fair. <laughs> and what is music anyway? So I started to take my curiosity seriously. And as I dug deeper and deeper, I discovered a vast intellectual landscape. There were people who knew a lot. We can call them scientists or researchers or academics or investigators. They were people who took their curiosity so seriously, they were dedicating their lives to it. When I had some questions I couldn't find answers to, I convinced two neuroscientists to join me and my artist friends to visit the San in Botswana. Geneticists have identified some San to have the most divergent, oldest Y chromosome haplogroups. And I was curious about their musical traditions. They were so kind and generous as we listened and asked, observed, and laughed, and wondered together. As our trip was ending, Dr. Jessica Grant said something I will never forget. I think essentially we're all mini scientists. We are all trying different things in our lives to then see the effect that they have on us or our well-being or our children. And we like to see that, ah, oh, if I do this, then I feel better. If I eat this way, then my, my life improves. People are driven by their passions in any life career they choose. And scientists are no different. Really, they just want to know how something works. And I'm really curious about how rhythm works. Scientists are our designated experts to study the world. And that doesn't mean they don't make mistakes, but it is in the nature of expertise that we trust experts to do jobs for which they are trained and we are not. But why don't we hear more directly from scientists more often? Every year, hundreds of fictional books are turned into fictional films. As we increase our level of scientific detail, we find amazing blue chip documentaries, YouTube, flourishing with all kinds of personalities exploring niche topics. MOOCs, paving the way for flipped classrooms of the future. Here in this space is what we want to work on. We want to produce more cinematic lectures, or Cinelex for short. Building on the shoulders of Cosmos, Merchants of Doubt, and Tangled Bank Studios. People want to learn, they just don't want to be bored. Let's engage them by transforming static, two-dimensional PowerPoints into dynamic four-dimensional videos. Cinelex feature investigators explaining their findings in gorgeous films with beautiful cinematography, dynamic animations, increasing brevity and clarity. In a world inundated with noise, let's amplify those with serious curiosity. <laughs>